Hey, welcome back. It's our next work session. Today we want to get the engine up on the engine lift and that way we can put the transmission back on and also change the seal on the back of it. We need to change this rear seal right here. It was leaking and getting oil all over our clutch. But the problem is we can't figure out how to get it out of there. We can't find a slide hammer attachment. Our seal puller doesn't work. So we're just trying everything we can. Well, the claw hammer worked. We just put the claw in one of the uh, one of the screws that we had in there, and it pulled right out. So now we just have to install the new one. Here's our new seal. We're gonna put a little bit of oil in there, and we don't have a socket that'll fit that just perfectly. So we're gonna gently tap it around, and hopefully get it in without peeling off the edge. Woo. Okay, it's time to try out the bearing pusher from a Porsche 944. Like a glove? Here's the pressure plate that we've got to put back on. And you can tell that it's really oily, so we're going to clean that oil off. Looks like we got the pressure plate from JGY. But we're going to clean that up and then put it back on. So let's get started on that. We've got all the flywheel bolts torqued down to spec. We're not going to change the pilot bushing. I've never had good luck with that. So we're just going to run the old one. It's not even that old, so it should be okay. The next thing we've got to do is put the new clutch and the pressure plate on using the clutch alignment tool. So we're going to get started on that right now. Get a lot accomplished in this session since only two of us were able to work. But don't worry because the next work session is starting right now. It's our next work session and we have everyone here today so hopefully we can get a lot done. Scott's gonna work on the camera adjusters while Kurt, Doug, and I work on getting the transmission bolted up to the engine. We were having a lot of problems with the starter at the last race so we're gonna test that too. So let's not waste any time and let's get to work. I just finished putting blue Loctite on each one of the bolts around the bell housing, so we should be good there. Scott is over here compressing the springs on the strut so that we can replace this plate on the top with the new plate for our uh, camber adjustment. Kurt is going to get the transmission jack, put the transmission on it, take it outside and give it a good bath. Get all that oil and crap off of there. got the transmission all cleaned up and now we're going to slide it over here and mount it to the engine. So let's get started on that right now. So 
we forgot to put this on before we put the flywheel on. So now we got to back it all off again to put that gasket on. That's not even really a gasket. What is that? Some kind of shim. Who knows? And then once we get that off, we can put the transmission back on. It was short, but we needed to get something out there for our two or three fans. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button. And if you want to support our team, go to polyvance.com and buy some of our products. And don't miss our next video. Click that notification bell so that you'll be notified when we upload the next video.